Hi there, Doug Milburn, president and co-founder of 45 Drives. I'm here in 45 Drives studio. It's uh, New Year's Eve coming up in a few hours and uh, I always like to take the time sort of around Christmas and, and the New Year's to you know, just get into work, uh, just come in the office, everything quiets down here, a whole bunch of people take a lot of time off uh, and you know, customer pace, customer interaction slows down. Uh, and it's time for me to put my thoughts together and just a lot of informal chats with the people that are in and, uh, you know, reflecting on the year and, uh, and thinking about what's coming up next year. So I just thought I'd share a little bit of uh, some of the highlights with you guys. So if we reflect back uh, to the year before in 2023, uh, there's lots of stuff in the news about layoffs, the tech industry, uh, enterprise computing uh slowed down uh and uh, you know there's lots of stuff on layoffs and things like that uh we're happy to say 45 drives we never had that we managed to grow right through that whole period anyway coming into 2024 uh we're just flying in 2024 our last quarter of the uh, year is up 70 percent over the uh, same period the year before which is pretty exciting for us uh the works of the year was about number one keeping that immaculate level of service looking after every customer everybody who buys from us incredibly important to us as an organization and me personally that you buy something from us that we keep our promises so uh keeping our foot on that gas pedal all the time but other thing to think about uh you know that i was reflecting on over the last few days is why such growth and i think about that and i go you know number one I think the most important thing is just that people are realizing, we're realizing more about who we are in 45 drives and how we're something distinctly different in the enterprise computing space. And, and by distinctly different, what do I mean by that? I mean, look, the, the, the segment's all about the legacy players, the big guys, all the names we know. Uh, big monolithic companies, highly proprietary offerings. Their stuff works great. They give you big, strong, fast enterprise computing, but along with some problems that people don't like so much anymore, like restrictive licenses and restrictive licenses and costs and things like that. Uh, as a result, a lot of people look over to open source as an opportunity. Open source looks good over there. Yeah, what do you see in open source when you look at it? Can be more powerful. A lot of people attracted to that. Incredibly flexible. It can solve your problem rather than a product that you're supposed to fall into in, in, in the old legacy model. And uh, at the end of the day, if you're on open source, you get this wonderful security of having an open source license in your hand. Nobody's going to tell you what to do. Nobody's going to pull the carpet out from underneath you. Uh, one little blemish on that, so many people in the enterprise space, open source kind of equals project and project risk. There's a downside of that. What if you could put them all together? That's what 45 drives is. And realizing that more and more, we are that easy single PO for everything you need. You choose what you need, single PO for it, uh, one provider, and uh, yeah, and if something goes wrong, there's one source of responsibility, one point of accountability for it. That's what we are. That's why it's working. Other things why it's working, uh, there is definitely an appetite for first world designed, first world manufactured products and products that are cut above the other stuff the commodity products are great there's lots of good stuff that's built offshore and uh, and it works but real uh, north america made north american design products that are robust and and really designed with thought for the people who are going to use them and designed to be big strong fast that's our main reason it's the main things that are driving it anyway uh, things that have happened over the years uh, we're seeing a major growth in the uptake of storage clustering. Our standalone server business continues to grow, but clustering has grown even faster. Clustering on two ends, uh, number one, the big clusters. People think about storage clusters. They think of petabytes and their tens of petabytes and things like that. Love that business. Really cool stuff. We get to do some really interesting stuff. But more and more, the other one I love is our clustering for everyone. Uh, small clusters. Uh, and why would you use a small cluster? You know, we, we do a lot of clusters that are, are built on our MI4 and C8s. Well, you do small clustering because of high availability. 
and, and this whole thing, this whole removal of emergencies keep your organization going no matter what. Server breaks down, no big deal. Fix it when we got time, when we want to. So we're seeing the growth of that. Um, and uh, so that stuff continues. Enterprise, uh, in the whole enterprise computing space, the, I guess the other big thing for us this year, uh, this year really marked our serious entry into virtual computing and uh, our proxinator hardware combining storage and, uh, and, and high powered compute into one machine. Uh, so you can do virtual machines with incredibly low storage latency. Uh, our compute nodes that, uh, you know, putting you know, things like 6,420 cores in a uh, server or servers and putting them together with storage clusters, block storage clusters, and uh, yeah, high powered, high capacity compute. Uh, and your solution and Proxmox and your solution to simple, fully featured virtual machines uh, that don't have rug pulls from proprietary software makers underneath it. Uh, yeah, and our hardware world, the Proxinator, our compute nodes are new. Uh, and in the high speed end, uh, you know, look, clustering standalone servers, sort of the core of it, we still have our all spinners and, uh, you know, direct lane to each storage device, great performance out of them. Uh, hybrid is where it's most of what we make is hybrid today. Uh, put solid state in, uh, journaling and, uh, and, and metadata and you got the cost advantage of spinners, the capacity advantage of spinners with that extra performance from hybrid. So hybrid is continuing to grow. It's such a sweet spot. But the other thing that uh, has been good for us are F32 all flash machine uh, has been very, very successful. Lots of installations on that, blazingly fast. And then of course we just released our new F16. The F16 has 16 uh, 15 millimeter NVMe drives. It's actually tri-mode so you can have investment in Sater SAS. Uh, you can just plug it in side by side, uh, universal bus management and blazingly fast 60 million IOPS uh, and uh, yeah, 60 gigabytes per second. Like ridiculously superlative performance, which is finding some applications, some really cool areas. So that's it. Oh yeah, home labs. We love home labs. Uh, home labs uptake has far exceeded our expectations. Uh, and uh, yeah, we have our new home client this year and we have our, our workstation this year uh, and the HL4, HL8 cubes, storage cubes. And of course our 15, uh, the HL15 is front and center and the HL15, uh, yeah, lots of those moving and uh, a lot of people having a lot of fun with those. And uh, yeah, in our partnership with Noctua, the other thing in home labs, which goes out into certain parts of our enterprise too, uh, trying to get these machines quieter and quieter, your computer hobbyist and you have a spouse who doesn't like having that jet engine sitting in the, uh, just off the living room, good. The Noctua stuff doing great on that. So, and of course, uh, highlights this year, uh, the uh, professional division, our launch of the professional division, which has been received really, really well. Again, exceeded our expectations. The whole thing of taking, you know, the, the, the combined the enterprise division, we're in most of our living right now, uh, home labs, which is doing wonderfully, that idea, shrinking big, uh, big, strong, fast, shrinking it down and not even shrinking it, right sizing it for MSPs and you know, the, the, the huge storage we make goes above most people's needs. And so it's about creating a product line uh, that is right sized for smaller customers who typically buy through MSPs. So that channel's opened up, looking, uh, looking forward to that. And uh, right now you'll see uh, the products that, that we've launched in Pro that are very, very similar to the home labs. Uh, world and uh, on top of it, we got some exciting new stuff like our stackables which those of you saw the Creator, Sub uh, Creator Summit this year got a peek at our stackables and, and the whole concept. Uh, computing for occupied space, neat cable management done completely in, in interior, quiet, right sized, power just powerful enough to make it all happen. So uh, anyway 
can't wait to see that evolve over this year and uh, I'll talk to you next year about it and hope we're going to have something that's really on fire by that time. Anyway, I could talk forever. We've got a whole bunch of new stuff coming out this year. Uh, Suffice to say, we had a great year. Hope you did too and uh, hope we'll get to interact with you in the coming year and do some big, strong, fast storage or virtual computing. Thanks. Happy New Year.